Hello, Nick here from Technovo and welcome back to the channel. It's CES time, so here's another video for you. Everyone's talking about Samsung and Sony, their new TVs, it's heavily covered online, but there isn't much being said about Panasonic and after seeing what they have just announced, I think it's worth sharing with you. So Panasonic have announced the launch of their new flagship OLED TV for 2022, the LZ2000, available in 55, 65 and for the first time ever, 77 inch sizes. It sounds like there is a bit of everything for everyone with this new range, so let's run through it. The LZ2000 uses sensors to detect the ambient room light color temperature and adjust the picture on screen in such a way to deliver a more natural experience when, for example, watching at nighttime. This feature builds on Panasonic's auto AI mode introduced last year, which uses artificial intelligence to identify in real time the content being played in order to be able to automatically optimize both picture and sound quality for that type of content. The concept is to deliver the optimum picture and sound quality to all users, regardless of the type of content you are viewing without the user needing to change any of the settings. This new range comes in 65 and 55 inch configurations, as well as the new 77 inch option that they're calling Master OLED Pro Cinema Size. All three sizes uses the very latest 2022 generation Master OLED Pro configuration, which has been custom engineered by Panasonic to deliver even more brightness through improvements in picture processing. The result is another bump in mid-level brightness, delivering more pop from HDR and improved accuracy in reproducing details in brighter areas. The range supports a very wide range of HDR formats, including Dolby Vision IQ, Dolby Vision, Filmmaker Mode, HDR10 Plus Adaptive, and HLG Photo, the still image format, which brings still photography into the HDR world. Also, the new range introduces directional sound in addition to Panasonic's 360 soundscape all-in-one TV audio package capable of delivering Dolby Atmos immersion audio experiences. The multiple built-in upward firing, side firing and front firing speaker units produce a spatial soundstage with the Dolby Atmos content. Panasonic was the first TV brand to introduce built-in upward firing and side firing speakers and this year they're also completely overhauling the front firing speakers replacing them with array speakers which is essentially multiple speakers arranged in a row which then run the entire length of the tv behind the front speaker grill we're not in vegas so we've not actually seen a tv in action but this may reduce the need for an additional soundbar or sound system perhaps Something for the gamers out there, if you're rocking a next-gen console or high-end PC, this new range includes SPD auto game mode, automatic detection of compatible HDMI 2.1, 4K and NVIDIA 30 series GPUs, allowing the LZ2000s to automatically optimize both the input lag and VRR settings to deliver optimum gameplay performance. Console users, note that HDMI 2.1 plus 120 hertz refresh rate, meaning you will be able to maximize the graphical power from your PlayStation 5 without a problem. Just to round things off, there will also be an in-game overlay that some people may find useful. This new feature collects all relevant game settings and information, then shows it on screen while you play. Things like frame rate, HDR data, input lag, and a few other bits. Price-wise, not yet announced, but summer 2022 has been mentioned for release, so keep an eye out for that. That's a wrap on this video. Thank you very much for watching. We've got a bunch of other CES videos on the channel, so go and check them out now.